Hello and welcome to Club UX. In our last lesson, we understood what are user interface design elements. We also explored the four key user interface design elements, namely input control, navigational components, informational components, and container. And in this video, we are going to explore the key interface elements which falls under input control. But before we begin, let's quickly go through what user interface elements mean. User interface design elements are the building blocks of websites and applications. They are the parts which are used to build these applications and websites. And a user interface designer makes use of these UI elements to build a visual language so that users can perform their task and navigate easily while they perform their task. In fact, these UI elements add interactivity to the user interface by providing touch points for the user while they navigate through. And what are input controls? Input controls are interactive elements of the interfaces which allow users to enter the information into the system's interface. Let's discuss the first user interface element which falls under input control, that is checkbox. Checkbox is a small square box that a user can check or uncheck with a little tick. Suppose you are going to one of your favorite travel destinations. You go to booking.com and enter your travel destination. You would find checkboxes on the left side of the interface like a budget checkbox, reservation policy, etc. So checkboxes are usually presented in a vertical list and a user can select one or more options from these checkboxes. Next is drop-down list. A drop-down list appears as a button, which when clicked, reveals a list of options for the user to choose from. Let's go back to our booking.com example again. As soon as you enter your destination in the booking.com, you will see that a small box has opened up in the window on the left side of the page which would have lot of buttons which when pressed reveals a list of options for you to choose from which would help in customizing your search for a better user experience. Next, buttons. A button tells users that they can perform a particular action upon touch. A button is typically displayed with shapes along with text or icon or both. For example, when you have to send an email, you press on the send button, you have to buy something, you press on the buy button, you have to submit an application, you press on the submit button. Radio buttons are small and circular UI elements. They are used in groups and lets users select one option from a list of mutually exclusive options. Uh, radio buttons are often confused with checkboxes, but there is a difference. With checkboxes, you can select multiple options. However, with radio buttons, you can only select one option. Next are list boxes. List boxes are similar to checkboxes. However, they can support a long vertical list. And you can also select multiple options at the same time. Next on the list are toggles. Toggles are these on and off switches which lets user to select a setting between the two states. Just like switches, they allow you to either turn a setting on and off and they are most effective when the two states are visually distinct. Next is date field which allows the user to select date or time and the information is consistently formatted and input into the system. Consider that you are making your hotel or flight booking. I know that the vacation mode is still on. Your first job is to enter the destination where you are planning to go. And the second thing is to select the duration of your travel. A small section would be displayed to allow you to select the date of travel. This is the date field. In fact, after choosing the dates, the information would be consistently formatted and input into the system and displayed to you. In this video, we explored the UI elements which falls under input control. Want to learn more about UI and UX? Then subscribe to Club UX. You can also visit our website yukti.io and find tons of information on UX. If you have any questions, then you can ask us by commenting on the comment section below. And stay tuned for more weekly videos on UI and UX.